Hello everybody, welcome to my Let's Play for Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, so this game, or right now, I'm, I'm publishing this pre-launch, and because of that, I can't show off single player right now, but I can show open world stuff, or I mean, I, I can't show the main storyline, but I can show open side quests and stuff like that, and collecting items throughout the city, and, well, this beautiful view of Paris, actually. You can see the Seine, and I think it's Notre, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, God, I'm an American fool. Um, <laughs> so, if you get really bothered by uh, my poor French pronunciations, then, uh, well, anyway. So, uh, I can't give my impressions of this game quite yet. Uh, I can't say something along the lines of, uh, I absolutely love this game, and I'm already working on 100% sync walkthrough. I can't say that. Um, I can't say that this is easily a game of the year component, or that it's uh, you know, one of the best Assassin's Creed games I've played in years, years and years and years. But what I can do is tackle thieves and complete side quests. Is that it? Hey, crowd event. So let's take a look at the map and some of the other systems in the game because I know that's what you guys want to see. Um, so this is Paris, obviously one of the one of the main areas within the city or w within Assassin's Creed. There are a couple different sectioned off areas like the Palace of Versailles and uh, some areas that I haven't even opened up yet. But this is the main hub. Um, tons of different side quests. So right now I'm going to make my way over to, uh, let's see, which quest was it that I wanted to do? Ah, here we go. Madame Tussaud. I'm going to retrieve some famous severed heads. And uh, there, as you can see, there's just a million different things on the map to do. So let's do that. There, oh, ooh, actually, let's also take a look at one of the new-ish features. Once I begin this mission. Ooh, nice hat. Uh, there's, there's a very uh, nicely revamped equipment and upgrading and armor and loot system in this game that I'm really, really liking so far. Uh-oh. And a lockpicking system. Uh, you have to upgrade. So there, you can see that mini chest on the map, that red treasure chest that uh, actually I do not have the skills to unlock yet. Do not have the skills to pay those bills. Cannot interact while there's a conflict. Oh. Well, let's end this conflict. The only way I know how. It's not through political diplomacy. Oh. Wait, what? Yes. Yeah. I really like using the one-handed weapons in this game, so I'll be sticking with those for my for my walkthrough. I already have, I think, three videos completed for my... What? Did I complete this story? Oh no, that's the reward. I'm about to accept it. Here we go. Accept and track. I am Madame Tussaud. I'm adept at making wax figures and death masks. I promised the assembly I would make masks of famous victims of the guillotine. It's grisly, but it was the only way to get out of prison. And now someone has stolen the heads I was given. Could you please find them for me? Heads will roll. All right. Speak to the assistants. Oh, okay. A friend found out something you might find important. She sent me this letter. So we got a letter. Chere Madame, I've learned that a certain politician, flushed with pride in his role overthrowing the... Ooh. Grand, Grand Denis? I, French is tough, man. Has procured the head of Jacques-Pierre Brousseau. Recently stolen from you. He works near the concierge. Your devoted friend. All right. Next... Assistant. Man, my uh, stupid American tongue really struggles with a lot of these French words. He was in love with her from afar. All right. And where's the third assistant? Here we go. The judge of the Palais de Justice who condemned Jacques Hébert apparently wanted Hébert's head as a trophy. Hébert. French has always been a tough, tough language for me. I took some French back in the day. That was the first language I ever learned. Well, as a kid in preschool. So I, seeing I learned it is probably overstepping my bounds a little bit. Un, deux, trois, cat, cinq. I think that's all I know. And the Alouette song, which I will spare you guys from singing. <laughs> so let's go talk to these dudes and retrieve their heads. Viva la revolution. 
Oh, yeah, so let's take a look at the character customization. So, uh, I did not play Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, or at least I didn't play enough of it to really remember whether or not a lot of this stuff is new. But um, I, I'm really liking the smoothness and the variety and all the different weapons you get to use in this game. Right now I'm using this foil, which is a relatively uh, cheap starting weapon, and I'm really liking it a lot. And you can also uh, upgrade all the weapons that you get to get a little bit of extra damage, or um, you know, some of them will have, uh, you know, they all have different attributes that you can upgrade on them. Um, and they have four currencies in this game, which is kind of confusing, but uh, you can spend your, I think these are called, oh, I wrote these down. Uh, creed points, uh, the the assassin symbol that you, that you would upgrade with X, those are called creed points, and you get creed points by um, <laughs> pretending to be Chad Kroger and by doing stealthy assassinations or uh, picking up collectibles or um, doing you know tricky things, doing things that would impress, like you know Im impressive things within the game. Um, now the helix points, the hack upgrades. I haven't been getting very many of those, so I'm not going to spend those on upgrading the foil. You buy the weapons with, uh, they're called, um, just it's just called money, the money that you find throughout the game, francs, probably. Um, and then you have all these other different currencies to upgrade and stuff like that. And there's a huge amount of different weapons and stuff. Now they also have this new uh, head and chest and forearm and waist and legs and outfit system. The outfits are all very, very late game things. Like you get Altair's uh, Master Assassin outfit or Edward's outfit or Arno's outfit. And, uh, and they're all, you know, collect all the collectibles kind of things or complete like what was this Play, play the Companion app, which isn't even out yet. Or, um, oh, Assassin's Creed Initiates. I don't know what that is. Okay, complete sequence seven, memory three. Uh, you know, late game things. Right now I think I'm in uh, sequence four. But one of the really cool things I'm digging about this game is that um, with all these different uh, pieces of armor that you can that you can choose, um, not only can you upgrade everything, but you can really choose like, okay, do I want for my for my leggings and for my gloves and for my chest and for my and for my hood, um, do I want more health or do I want more stealth? Health or stealth, that's usually, that's the typical trade-off. And I've been going heavily uh, on the stealth options for almost everything. So, um, and the same thing in the hood, or the head, I guess, uh, even though they're all hoods. You know, all these, these have some dramatic differences in, in the upgrades, like Eagle Vision range is increased, or uh, health and assassin cash duration, um, which is one of these uh, timed consumables that you can buy. Uh, with with the helix credits in this game like I'll show those off as well. Let's see boosts the active skill boosts um, Which give you group healing or uh, Communal sense so you share eagle vision with allies um, assassin cash ability to uh, Recover bombs and other consumables But the active boosts these are really interesting too. significantly increase damage or health or uh, stealth abilities for three minutes or five minutes for the premium one and i don't know if the store is not up yet but you can buy them with those helix credits and i don't know if you can buy helix credits with real money when the full game comes out or not but um, anyway let's go back to the mission let's go find some heads let's get some head guys so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna climb up here Try to drop in, maybe get a little bit of a height advantage and snoop around. God, the <laughs> this game. Mm, I can't say it. God damn it! Why can't I just say it's good? It really bothers me. But I can't say that it's good. So there's the head from a famous guillotine victim. So let's see. How am I gonna do this? I'm going to climb across this rope. Drop down, pop a smoke bomb. Let's make sure I have smoke bombs equipped. Cherry bomb. And smoke bomb. I'm gonna drop down, grab the head, pop a smoke bomb, and then get the hell out of there. Oh, maybe I'll assassinate this guy just for funsies. Nobody noticed that. 
Retrieve. Oh, come on, quickly. Ah, so smoke bomb distraction. There you go. You saw I just got 50 creed points. With arms wide open. Wait, is that creed? Oh, I think I made a Nickelback reference before when I meant to make when I meant to make a creed reference. No. I'm not gonna make it out of here. Unless I start killing people. Pop another smoke bomb. Oh man. Are they gonna be able to shoot me from that far away? I hope not. Oh. Hey, I just went up in my assassin ring. Oh, and I desynced. I died. Because I didn't want to kill people. I should have just fought all those guys. Oh well. So, one of the things I would recommend doing when you first start this game is joining a group. And if you guys want to join my Silent But Deadly group, I think all you have to do is search the name. Uh, and. It's open to anybody that wants to join. I'm playing on the Xbox One right now, but they have this, uh, let's see, if you go to the My Brotherhood, you can see your assassin rank, and it's a very simple ranking system, just the more assassin points you get, um, creed points you get, you just go up in these named ranks, and they don't tell you if there's any rewards for getting to the legend status, but I'd assume there would be. Um, eventually, there'll be club competitions, and my club, Silent But Deadly, <laughs> there's only one member. Oh, so sad. Club profile, objectives. So I need four more members to get a club hall banner. And you can search for clubs and, uh, and join my club, which I'd recommend doing. Hey, I got one of the heads, even though I died. All right, let's take a look at the map again and figure out where I'm going next. Oh, were they all in that little area? Oh, nuts. Hmm. Ooh, I have unspent sync points. Let's spend those. So they tell you on those little pop-ups that you need to go uh, to a store to spend those sync points, which isn't actually true. So let's take a look at the skills that I've unlocked. Oh, I only have one sync point, so I actually don't have enough sync points uh, to buy any of the upgrades, but um, quite a few of these upgrades are locked, and most of them cost more than just one sync point. You get sync points by completing uh, single-player uh, campaign missions, like the main missions, not just not just side quests and stuff like that, like major major things within the game, not just... Uh, Let's go here, Let's see if we can find this head. Okay, so there's this new alarm bell system. <laughs> so, man, there's so many things in this game that remind me of um, other Ubisoft games. Um, so I'm gonna cut this alarm bell like I'm taking over a, a safe house in Far Cry. <gasps> did I get an achievement for that? I did, oh, cool. Uh, so steal. Don't mind me. Yeah, did I just... Wait, what? Was that not the objective? Oh, no. Oh, what was that? Was I just stealing that for the sake of stealing that? <laughs> okay. Uh, so, on the top you see my health bar there, but and you also see two diamonds. Uh, that represents my level. And uh, my basically all of the... Um, all the missions have a ranking on them for difficulty and if you're I, I haven't really tried anything too far out of my range but it seems like a general like a good rule of thumb that your your level should match the um, the ranking of the mission as well uh, I'm I think I said I was on sequence four why can't I go up here we go yeah good jump oh god the sense of vertigo in this game is awesome All right, let's go find this next head so you have this free run down. Oh, I didn't get to show the slide, but there is a pretty awesome slide mechanic in this game as well. Alrighty, so I got kind of turned around right there, but now I figured out what I need to do next. I need to, I found a letter that I stole out of someone's pocket. Oh, that's not what I was looking for. So somewhere in here is a treasure chest and this green little circle on the map is what I'm looking for. There's a head in the chest and I need, I. I think I need to get the keys unless my lockpicking skill is high enough. Ah, here we go. There we go. There's the chests. Do you want to kill this guy? Yeah. You don't deserve to live. 
wish I could take his hat. Oh. Among other items, the list includes chest belonging to M. Lamatre. Cool. All right, so here we go. Another head. What's in the box? What's in the box? Is it Gwyneth Paltrow's head? That would be great. Hey, and the third head. Cool. All right. Let's go turn those back into Madame Tussaud to help her open her museum. Oh no. Are they following me in here? <gasps> nope. This is a place of business. Do not come in. Oh, come on. Cover. You can't find me in here. <gasps> yeah, I'm an apprentice in the Silent but Deadly group. You have them. I can make the death masks and be safe. Oh, what a world in which we live. <laughs> what? Oh, what a world. Oh, what a world. Continue. Oh, let's view the progress tracker. So you can see, you know, this is a pretty similar uh, progress tracker to how it was in previous Assassin's Creed games. All the side quests, waxworks, Madame Tussaud. Ooh, she, oh, she, she has another. This is a series of quests for Madame Tussaud. Collectibles, heists. I haven't done a heist yet. These are co-op missions. I can't do co-op missions until the game comes out, unfortunately. Chests to find, artifacts to collect. And of course, they all unlock badass late game weapons. Ah, cool. So, thanks for checking out this video, everybody. Uh, if you're looking for more, I will be posting uh, some more side quest stuff as we lead up to the full launch of the game. I think what I'm going to do next is work on uh, upgrading the cafe and seeing what this whole system's about. I haven't touched it yet. And then I'm going to start doing some more of these... Um, Oh, yeah, I'm going to do the, the Cult of Baphomet after that. So anyway, thanks for watching. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Unity because I got this whole 100% sync walkthrough going, man. It is fun as hell, and it is actually pretty challenging. So anyway, thanks for watching, and game on.